What's up YouTube? Welcome to a brand new video and tutorial and welcome to the big showdown between Final Cut Pro's built-in stabilization and the paid plugin from Pixel Film Studios and Cormelt. So let's head right into that. Oh wait, this video is not sponsored so I will of course give you my real opinion on those plugins and the Final Cut Pro built-in stabilization. But right now, let's head right into that. Now, stabilization is a really big topic because it all depends on your footage and your needs. And that's why I have a lot of different clips we are going to stabilize with all of those plugins and going to compare so you can decide if you want to spend those 29 bucks for Pixel Film Studios or even those 99 bucks on the Cormel plugin. Now let's look at the first clip. It's a short hyperlapse of my friend standing on top of his pool while I'm moving in the pool towards him shooting pics with my camera. Now let's start with the Final Cut Pro stabilization by clicking on the stabilization in the inspector window. Final Cut is starting to analyze our footage and this will take a good while. Once it's finished, you can change the parameters on how it's going to stabilize our clip. Of course, we have to choose a method. Interior cam is for camera moves like pans and zooms and rolls and stuff like that. And smooth cam is for vertical and horizontal shakes like you held your camera steady, but it, of course it shakes a bit. It's like a tripod mode. So we go with interior cam right here and boost the slider beyond its limits. That's actually a, like, a little hack because the slider is ending at three, but you can increase the numbers till, I don't know, maybe 300 or something like that. If the screen blacks out, you are going too far. So go a bit back and then if, if that works for you, good. But in this case, this is way too much and I think we go with 1.5, which will give us the best results. Now let's give Cormelt the next shot. We are going to use stabilizer only and adjust the parameters. We are going with smooth single shot, bring down the rotation because I don't know why, but it rotates the picture pretty much and go with smart scaling. First impression, Cormelt does a pretty good job over here and it's way faster than Final Cut Pro. Unfortunately, I bought this plugin a long, long time ago and changed my computer since that. And I forgot my license key. I reached out to Cormelt, but actually nobody answered me. So Cormelt, if you see that, please send me a new license key. Now let's give Pixel Film Studios a try. The Pixel Film Stabilizer is the only one where you can and have to select the area what you want to focus. Select the area with a big contrast so the tracking works better. Boost the quality to 100%. The tracking type is position only for this clip. Click on track forward. Once it's finished, hit the export data and it looks like this. I think the whole process took me as long as Final Cut Pro stabilization, but it looks very good. Now let's try a different clip and test out how those stabilizers work on different footage. This is a drone shot, which is much more smooth out of the camera. Final Cut Pro does a pretty funny, but to be honest, completely useless job when we go with interior cam. So we have to go with smooth cam, but whatever I do on this one, it does not satisfy me at all. Cormelt is okay, but it crops in like crazy and the start is pretty shaky and Pixel Film Studios does a pretty good job on this one. Now hyperlapse isn't easy at all for stabilizers, so let's try our tools on way easier footage. This is a shot from a previous video I made where things falling on a burger and I tried all of those stabilizers and to be honest, I can see a big difference. Maybe Pixel Film Studios is a bit shaky when the seller drops, but to me, there is not much difference here. 
The last clip is my friend locking a coffee handle. Final Cut Pro and Cormel do a very, very good job. Pixel Film Studios is the only one that can hold the camera handle in the middle of the frame, but it does a great job as well. Now, which plugin should you use or even buy? Built-in stabilizer from Final Cut Pro is an okay tool. It's completely for free and it has limited capabilities. Cormelt is an amazing stabilizer, which is also the fastest in our test, but with 99 bucks, it's pretty heavy. Pixel Film Studios Stabilizer 2.0 is a very capable stabilizer, but sometimes you don't wanna have a focus on something, you just wanna stabilize your footage, but therefore maybe the free version of Final Cut Pro will help you. So I personally go with the Pixel Film Studio Stabilizer because it's pretty capable and what Pixel Film Studios can do, maybe Final Cut Pro is capable of. And as I said, my name is Eric, I do Final Cut 10 Pro tutorials and have a lot of free plugins, so please check out all my other videos. If you haven't already, smash that sub button right now and follow me on Instagram, lifted underline Eric. And I would say, See you in the next one.